Eddie Hearn is still claiming that AJ Wilder is arguably a bigger fight than Usyk versus Fury. I mean, I know he's got to hype his fighter, but dear oh dear, that really is stretching it. If AJ Wilder was bigger than Usyk Fury, then the Saudis would still be putting it on. It's as simple as that. But they're not because it isn't. AJ couldn't even sell out the O2 for his last couple fights, and Wilder did horrible numbers against Robert Hellenius. Meanwhile, Usyk and Fury are selling out stadiums. So give it a rest, Eddie. If you're gonna talk such blatant nonsense like this, it's actually gonna turn fans off. It's not gonna help. After the undisputed fight fell through early this year, AJ versus Wilder was a nice consolation prize. That's the way I saw it. But now that the undisputed fight has finally been made, does that consolation prize even matter anymore? Usyk versus Fury is an essential fight for the heavyweight division. I can't say the same for AJ versus Wilder now. It was essential back when they were both still undefeated champions, but neither one of them has a title anymore. They've both lost three times and both been knocked out. So the fight has lost its significance. There's still the entertainment value, obviously. If it happens, I'll definitely still watch it. But if it doesn't happen, I can't say I'd be massively disappointed, personally. I mean, it's not like they're a pair of prime contenders. AJ looked terrible in his last two fights. In fact, scratch that. He looked terrible in his last four fights. Wilder, to his credit, did look good against Hellenius, but he's in his late 30s now, and he's been extremely inactive. So it feels like there's no momentum for this fight anymore. You know what I mean? It feels like it's starting to lose its relevance. Maybe if both guys fought a top 10 contender each first and both got wins in impressive fashion, that would probably get me more interested again. But I can't see Wilder doing that. AJ might do it if it's someone in the matchroom stable, but I don't think Wilder would do it. And if that's the case, and they still want to pursue this fight, then they're probably going to have to accept a massive pay cut. They were talking about getting 50 or 60 million each in Saudi Arabia, but that's out the window now. If they can't get a site fee from somewhere else and they're relying purely on pay-per-view, then you'd have to cut their purses down to what? 15 million each maybe? Because think about it, when AJ was champion and packing out stadiums, he was making about 20 million a fight against people like Povetkin. But these days he can't even fill out the O2. So I don't see how any more than 15 million each would be realistic for Joshua Wilder. Again, unless they can get another site fee from somewhere, or unless they can build the hype up again by the pair of them getting an impressive win each before they fight each other. So anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And before I go, I wanna give a shout out to all the new subscribers to my Patreon page. I cover loads of different topics in my weekly podcast, as you can see on screen right now, from current events to deep dives down the rabbit hole and everything in between. I'm really enjoying the feedback and the discussions we've been having on there lately. So if you'd like to join the conversation, just click the link in the description box below. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalog of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract. No commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.